and welcome back to Game Domain. Today we will be introducing a brand new series that we are adding to our lineup, Game Domain Rewind. In this series we will go back in time to look back at past games released, some of which are popular and some of which are underrated or never really found themselves on the hype train to begin with. Opening a vault to the past can be a dangerous action, but don't worry because we will make sure not to mess with the past too much. We will be covering a wide variety of different games, while the majority of the videos will be based around games from older consoles such as the NES, the SNES, N64, GameCube, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Wii, Xbox, Xbox 360, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and more. There are a lot of consoles to cover, meaning that there is an endless amount of games to discuss and for us to indulge in for the long time to come. Now we will try to stay away from games that are part of a larger and super successful franchise, but if we dive into those franchises it will only be because the games that most people have forgotten about. Even the biggest of franchises like Mario, Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, and many more have games that have been forgotten and we will be sure to look closely and more in depth at those entries as well. So. Without further ado, the first game we are covering is about two characters that have been idolized in the Super Smash Bros. series, but have only appeared in one game of their own, meaning that they never really launched into a big franchise. Based off of exactly what the title of their featured game is, these characters offer a lot of fun while playing by yourself or with a friend or family member. While making appearances or having been referenced in other games, the Ice Climbers only really had one game of their own, the original Ice Climber released way back in January of 1985 on the NES. Just to put that into perspective on how long ago this game was released, since then we have seen 6 different American presidents, 33 Super Bowls, and around 13 major Nintendo consoles. Yep, that's a pretty long time ago. I know, I feel old. Ice Climber was never really that incredibly popular at the time, and most fans only know of the characters from the Super Smash Bros. series. People have come to appreciate the game for what it's worth as the years went on, and it has even gotten multiple re-releases and made a couple virtual console appearances. And with Nintendo's new online service announced, which comes with the ability to download and play 20 unannounced classic NES games, we may yet see this game on the big screen. This game has plenty to offer fans and it's no surprise as to why this game has been looked at for reboots on multiple occasions. So let's dive in and see what truly makes this game great and how it holds up in today's gaming world. Released on January 30th, 1985, Ice Climber showcased two main game modes. A single player game mode in which the player can control one of the two main characters, Popo the blue robe boy and Nana the pink robe girl, and the two player game mode which each player controls one of the two platforming friends. Now the generic feel of the game is a normal Nintendo arcade game, but there is something that makes people feel a sense of uniqueness and realism while playing the game. As you make your way through various different stages, all the while platforming your way through obstacles, puzzles, and taking down enemies and bosses, the controls make you feel as if you are truly climbing an ice mountain, as the game is intended to be based around, hence the name, Ice Climber. You get the point. So as you chip your way towards the top of the mountain with your handy dandy wooden mallet, you rack up points and score through each level. The game's utter simplicity adds a relaxing time for the player as there is very little stress put on the player's shoulders. The main objective is also very clear. Rack up enough points to either finish higher than your opponent if playing with one, or to challenge your own high scores and use your skills to reach the summit. Just be careful not to slip. That is pretty much it for the physical gameplay section of the video, so let's move on to what makes this game a true NES classic. While overwhelmingly well received by fans, Ice Climber does not sit well with the game rating community, and that may have something to do with the fact of the game's increasing age and the hard work it takes to even find a working copy of the game today. IGN gave Ice Climber a 6.5 out of 10 as their main criticism was that the vertically scrolling gameplay was too arcadey for the Nintendo platforming games that we are used to. Now this does not really have very much truth to it, as the game does match up fairly well against games like Super Mario Bros, Kirby, and even Donkey Kong. 
the game's graphics don't hold up as well anymore, but for the time they were absolutely stunning and it makes it truly crazy to think that this game came out in 1985. There are games that came out in 2010 or even 2012 that don't even look as good as this game. And that says a lot about the work and effort put into making the Ice Climber an adventure that could literally last a lifetime. Because, well, 33 years is pretty damn long. So now let us close the vault that we have opened and fast forward back into the present time, as now we know what makes this game withstand time and brings a whole lot of fun along with it. So what did you think of today's video? Have you ever played Ice Climber? And if so, did you like it? What do you think of the new series? And if you like it, what game do you think we should do next? Tell us in the comments below, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and be sure to check out some of our more recent videos, which we will leave links in the description for, as well as our discord and new info regarding new channel updates. We at Game Domain also invite our subscribers to go and check out our new channel that we've launched recently, Game Domain News. We will leave the channel's link in the description as well and go subscribe for the best gaming news out there, because if it wasn't for our amazing fans, we would never be where we are. The incredible support you guys give us every day, whether it's leaving a comment or a like on a video, sharing our channel with friends, or even just a view, it means the world to us. So thank you for your increasing support, and we can promise you that things are only going to get bigger and better. And as always, thank you for watching Game Domain.